Hello there, Potini here from Spaceship Basement once again, and I'm joining you to play a small indie horror game called Can't Escape. This is my first time playing this game. I just updated it. I don't know what the game was like before, so for obvious reasons I won't be able to point out any updates. But you know, let just let just see where this goes. Let just have a little fun. All right. So clearly, I have to escape, but I can't, as is uh, this is the title of the game, I suppose. Just kick it down. Just kick it down. Um, I've seen a little bit of gameplay for this, so <laughs> all I really know is to look out for holes because I fall into holes, and then you just go deeper down in the dungeon. And yeah, see, there's a hole right up ahead. I don't think there's any way to avoid that. So uh, don't go down that way. That's a trap. I um, the controls for this game are very um, I guess I don't know what to call it. Very classic directional controls, where it's almost like point and click. You just you just hit the arrow up, and well, you turn to the sides, and then you just hit the arrow once, and you move like you know five spaces ahead of it's five spaces ahead of you or something like that. And I don't know I don't know how to describe this. Just stop. Okay? Just don't bug me about it. Just, I don't have to take this shit. Oh, no, okay. Okay. Shut up. In that take. Okay. Boop. Probably gonna have to go down at some point. Here's a secret. See look. Finding secrets all over the place. There's another secret right up ahead. Uh, what if I do escape? The name of the game is Can't Escape. What if I do escape? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this, I think. What's over here? That looks kind of weird. the layout changes every time I play. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just coming up with random stuff to say. Um, it's very atmospheric, surprisingly. I mean, the graphics are not of high quality. Everything seems to be a very uh, flat, two-dimensional image. But it has a certain charm to it. The music's pretty good. It's looping seamlessly, but it's not its not annoying like some other games are. Sometimes when they do that horrible loop that's three seconds long and you just want to kill yourself. Okay. I mean, I'm not very deep into this dungeon. I, oh, is that a... Am I going to escape? you got to be fucking kidding me. I did not even see a hole. Oh. Okay, I'm hearing some, uh, I'm hearing some weird noises. Okay, am I alone down here? I hope so. You know, what's funny about this game is, you know, you gotta look out for these holes. But you can only really see the holes when it's light out, so... You know, at first you don't really have any reason to uh, not see the holes, but the further down you go, the harder it becomes. It just exponentially, the difficulty increases exponentially with each mistake that you make, which is actually quite an interesting concept. I like that. Woo! Secret door. Can't hold me. Can't hold me, secret door. I'm gonna kick you down. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Wish I could play ukulele, but I only have one hand. This hand can do anything, anything with this one hand. I can pick up this glass while playing this game, because I've got one hand to pick up this glass with. What am I talking about? I'm hearing those noises again, it's like weird footsteps. Kind of, uh, kind of unsettling. It's probably nothing to worry about. 
There's probably nothing bad down here, you guys. What could, what's the worst that could happen? I don't know. You tell me. Not that I'm falling down any more holes. You got a hole? I'll fall down it. That's my job. Ooh, trap door. I mean, secret. What are these noises I'm hearing? I don't like it. I like, I like temple exploration games. Kind of remind me of, uh... I have Prince of Persia on the Sega Genesis. I play that sometimes. All temple games really just remind me of Prince of Persia, because that's really just the greatest... Or, I guess, dumb dungeon would be the appropriate term. Dungeon exploration platformer. Except it's really fucking hard. I, I remember I used to have that on floppy disk. <laughs> Games on a floppy. That's funny. You're funny, Paul. Shut the fuck up. I hope that I get out of this dungeon pretty soon. Or I'm going to have to start doing the Harlem Shake. Don't do the Harlem Shake. That's a trap. Not gonna fall for that. This game's mean. Oh god. This game is just full of tricks and treats. Oh, yeah, I'll go that way. Oh, look. Here's a ladder. I figured it out. Oh god. Okay, see, this is where it gets tricky. Okay. I have a feeling this... Probably, I'm gonna, probably gonna start finding lots of ladders. And there will be lots of holes. That really startled me. I did not see a hole there. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh God. The problem is, it takes so long to make it out of a, each level. I mean, I'm just looking around for a ladder, just 10, 15 minutes. It's, this game is not very forgiving. But neither am I. Where am I going? I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm finding God. <sighs> Just get more lost. Just get more lost. But, you know, I'll be out of here in no time. And I can go back to my family. Make a life for myself as a banker. Yes, a famous banker. And I'll have all the money I could ever want to support my family with my banking. And never have to worry about ghosts and scary monsters in dungeons. That's the dream. Someday. Someday I will be a famous banker. And I won't have to worry about money. That's a hole. Not finding much. That's a ladder. Mm. Come on, give me something. Oh, can I help? Wait. Yes. Back up to the first level again. Okay, I need to be extra careful about holes. Don't fall down any holes, Paul. Stupid son of a bitch. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. This is the top level? Doesn't feel like it. Oh, okay. There's some light. 
Not going down that way. Because of the holes. You know how I feel about holes. I hate them. I hate holes. Not good for anything. God, I just keep hearing the stomping sound. Yeah, not gonna... Oh, you. Oh, you. What is that? What is... What was that noise? See, that's an element of this game that I've not yet experienced. The monsters that I know are in here. And I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, it's getting closer, I think. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> what the fuck? I fell. What can I say? I fell into hell. My darling, I went to give you flowers, but I fell down a hole in a tower. Now I'm looking for my way out of this dungeon, and I can't find my way out of this cave. I've been reduced to making weird noises because I don't know where to go. 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 Do I look like the Doom guy? I just assume I do. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. I'll come back some other day. Stop rhyming, Paul. My heart is full of dancing song. So let's all sing a song. Don't like those noises. Uh, I saw something. Manuel? Are you down here, Manuel? M Manuel? Where is Manuel? I like that the music changed. Since, um... Not only does it get exponentially deeper, I mean, excuse me, not only does it get exponentially more difficult the deeper you go, it also gets exponentially spookier. Hi. Hi, I. Oh, that I. Manuel, I have fallen. I'm falling down the dungeon. Where are you, Manuel? Are you down here? Oh my. Oh, oh my. Manuel? Manuel? 
Got my attention now. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Just add in some synth music, and suddenly I'm all yours. Oh, it's getting my skin so hard, you guys. Doesn't make sense. I don't think that was just a ghost. That was a straight-up ghost, and it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Like, that is exactly what a ghost looks like. Um, I'm getting scared. <laughs> uh, ghosts. I didn't like that. Manuel? Are you... Are you down here, Manuel? I'm very lost. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Manuel. Do you forgive me? Please come out, Manuel. Where have you gone, Manuel? Almost fell for that one. My name is Jose. No. My name is... My favorite food is chicken, but not always. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted doing my, uh, my timid Mexican voice. Not to be, not to be, um, racist. In the dungeon, thousands of feet deep, looking for my way out. Looking for my way out. Oh, God. That's a ghost. That's. Well, it's a ghost. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. I'm just gonna keep falling deeper. <laughs> oh. Ma Manuel! I'm stuck. It's getting dark. Oh, it's the end. Uh oh. Okay, so. That is Can't Escape. Pretty fun game. It can be, I guess, uneventful, depending on how careful you are at the beginning. I, I don't know how hard it is to escape at the very beginning, but there doesn't seem to be much threat. So, I, the trick is just, you know, once you start making those mistakes, and you just keep making more, and it just catches up with you, you know, after about the third or fourth level down, you're, n you're not getting back up. <laughs> and it just gets scarier. So, uh, that ghost, I think there's one other monster, but specifically that ghost uh, scared the shit out of me. I don't want to see him again, I don't want to play this game ever again, unless there's an update, and then I'll play it for the fear for the fear. I'm always doing it for the fear. I'm always doing this for you guys, just so you can watch me feel the fear. Because I just want you to feel the fear. 
that I feel. If you enjoyed, please subscribe or follow me on Twitter. I would be so happy. Just truly happy. And if you have any games you'd like to see me play, please leave a comment down below and I'll take a look at it and I'll probably play it because I'm pretty uh, desperate for games, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you soon. <laughs>